Uh, you're right, they haven't had this uh, discussion and it must be said that the EU 27 are not united necessarily on the way uh, forward. I think simply there are two options realistically now that will be presented uh, to the EU Council Summit uh, next week in Brussels. Uh, given the fact that the UK government is now likely to request, in fact almost certainly going to request an extension to uh, Article uh, 50, no matter what happens. Uh, one may will be a technical extension in some regards, essentially what the motion suggested last night, uh, that the UK will stay in until uh, June uh, 30th, uh, even if uh, and uh, it's looking possible Theresa May's deal does pass in the next couple of uh, weeks, uh, simply because uh, legislation will need to be passed, not just, it must be said, in the UK Parliament, but of course at the European Parliament uh, too. Both parliaments need to ratify the withdrawal agreement in order for it to become uh, law. So in those circumstances, uh, would the EU uh, be willing to offer Britain a, a technical extension of a couple of months? Yes, uh, I, I think they would. Uh, no one, uh, and they would repeatedly say this, want to see the EU, so the UK crash out of the European uh, Union. It would also mean, of course, Britain would not take part in those EU elections. The tricky bit comes if it's look very likely that Theresa May's deal will not get through uh, Parliament. And in those circumstances, we heard from Donald Tusk yesterday, the Irish uh, yesterday as well, suggesting that they would like to see a long extension. It would provide some form of uh, certainty, but what, what it would mean is a restarting, essentially, of the negotiations. Simon Coveney, the Irish Foreign Minister, talking about up to 21 uh, months. But be in no doubt, not everyone agrees with Simon Coveney or Donald Tusk. Uh, we know that Emmanuel Macron, for example, is pretty sceptical about this. Apparently the Italians are too. And Manfred Weber, uh, the man most likely to take over from Jean-Claude Juncker, is not at all in favour. He believes it just creates greater uncertainty for the European Union and means that Brexit just consumes EU debate uh, for potentially the next couple of years to come.